I'm Dr. Anisha Gehani. I'm a radiologist at Tata Medical Center. Uh, we often get a lot of patients uh, with suspected lymphoma. Mostly they come from clinicians uh, with uh, fever, weight loss, enlarged glands in the neck, uh, in bilateral uh, armpits, in the groin regions. Um, and with uh, the suspicion of maybe either an infection or maybe with lymphoma, they're usually sent to the radiology department for certain investigations. Mostly the basic investigations are like ultrasound and chest x-ray. And um, in case that there is some suspicion which is found on the chest x-ray or on the ultrasound, then certain advanced tests like maybe a CT scan or a PET CT scan or maybe even an MRI may be done uh, in case we're suspecting lymphoma. But the gold standard to diagnose lymphoma, uh, by gold standard I mean the best tests which can give us the diagnosis of lymphoma as well as certain tests um, that can tell us what kind of lymphoma it is, those are usually the biopsies or the fine needle aspirations. Uh, so now coming to ultrasound, uh, if a patient comes to the department uh, with a requisition for an ultrasound, uh, the basic thing is that we would expect the patient to be fasting at least for three to four hours. This is important uh, in order to visualize the gallbladder. A uh, second thing is we would also prefer if the patient holds urine and um, that can be possible if the patient can have maybe water and w once the patient is ready for an ultrasound, we take up the patient in, in the ultrasound um, uh, bed and there's an ultrasound machine. Ultrasound, uh, by the way, does not have any uh, radiation, so there is no hazard of radiation exposure on ultrasound. So ultrasound, uh, uh, we can look at the liver, we look at the spleen, we look at some other organs like both the kidneys, as well as uh, we can try to determine the size of these organs. We can look at where all the lymph nodes are on the ultrasound and uh, not only in the initial diagnosis, but also once the patient has started treatment in cases of lymphoma, the sizes of these lymph nodes, they start to reduce. So that way we can come to know if the patient is responding to therapy or if not, if there are something else like some new lesions that develop on ultrasound, which can be also picked up very easily. Now CT guided biopsy is uh, actually much more useful as compared to ultrasound guided biopsy because CT allows a visualization of all internal organs Maybe not in real time, but uh, through CT guided, you can localize the exact position or the exact point of the internal organ through which you might want a biopsy. Again, there are certain preparations that we require for CT guided biopsy. Uh, we would expect the patient's overall general condition to be good. The patient must lay still on the CT bed. Uh, there are certain tests we require to do before the CT guided biopsy uh, so that the risk of bleeding and the chances of complications are less such as the prothrombin time which is the PT then the INR which is the international normalized ratio uh, as well as the CBC. So the hemoglobin should be good, the platelet count should be within normal limits. These tests are adequate and within normal limits then we can proceed with the biopsy. For the biopsy the patient is made to lie in a CT bed and the exact location through which the biopsy needs to be taken is localized using the CT scan machine. Once that is taken, it is extremely important to ensure that the patient consents to the procedure. So we need to explain all the risk factors, the benefits as well as the complications to the patient. They give us a signed document that they are absolutely okay with going and proceeding with the biopsy and then the biopsy is done. Usually the biopsy is done using either a biopsy gun or a biopsy needle which is a small needle uh, which is inserted through the skin at the place where the biopsy needs to be taken. But because this is a sharp instrument, we need to first localize, uh, anesthetize the local area using a local anesthetic agent, usually lignocaine. Once the site has been localized, the biopsy gun is introduced through that site after anesthetizing the uh, site and two to three samples are taken which are then sent to the laboratory. The patient is then kept under observation for about one to two hours in the department to ensure that there are no immediate post-procedure complications following which the patient is then discharged. So the patient does not need to get admitted if everything is within normal limits and the patient can be sent home the same day.